Hey, Mike here. I'm with my Ream Hybrid Water Heater. Um, and today what I wanna do is go over the app, the free app that comes with this particular unit. Um, if you have one of these units or are looking at buying one of these units, uh, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of videos, useful videos about this particular unit, the goods and the bads, uh, but let's do it. So who would have thought my water heater has, has an app? Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through the app right now. So I have what I have here is basically my iPhone and I just have this, the, the app up on the screen here, okay? So this water heater, the nice thing is it comes with uh, this different options. I'm gonna start right here at the bottom. I'm gonna hit electric mode and you're gonna see the different options. So I can turn this water heater off if I want. I can put it in energy savings mode. Energy savings mode is basically the hybrid water heater mode. That's the one you want to use if you're going to have this unit. Um, heat pump only mode, which is the same thing. High demand mode. So if you're having maybe a lot of people and you know you're going through a lot of hot water, you can put it in high demand mode. And then electric mode is basically just like an, uh, an old water heater. Okay. It's just like your normal electric water heater. Okay. That's electric mode. All right. Next place here. So the next option, sorry, is right here, which is the scheduling function. Okay. Now the scheduling function is really cool because you can, you can customize how this water heater works by the hour if you want, okay? So what you see here is I have a schedule, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so I can click through and see the different days. And I can have this water heater running on different modes depending on what the day is. You know, so maybe the weekend I wake up a little bit later and I take a shower later, so I want the water heater to be on at a later time. Whatever your situation is, you can do it with this app, okay? so. You have the days across the top, and then you have the time, so seven, 10, two, and nine. And then you have the degrees of what you, what temperature you want it to be at. And then here, what you have is you can actually, so in the section before you saw, you had the different options of different um, ways the water heater can be running. So here you can have it at a certain time turn off or go into energy saving mode or heat pump only mode or high demand mode, you know, um, so that's, you know, that's pretty cool. I can see the high demand mode maybe being a useful option. Maybe you have it in high demand mode for the morning hours if you have a lot of people taking showers. And then you put it back in the energy savings mode after that. So you could do that with this app, okay? It's very cool, all right? So that's basically the, 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 the scheduling feature. Um, and it's actually nice because if you set a schedule up for one day, you can hit the copy button, okay? And then you can copy it to every single day. All right, so it's actually not too bad as a save button and a follow schedule or not follow schedule uh, toggle button down there. Okay, so this is a pretty cool. All right, so the next option we're gonna look at is the usage option, which is right here. Okay, so I'll click down on the app. And what this does is it, it basically tracks how much, um, how much usage or how much kilowatts this, this unit has, has consumed, okay? So, you can see here across the top, I could go by day. So if I have it in daily mode, I can go daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. So let me just do monthly, oh, monthly, okay? So I can see it's January, 2021, and then I can go back. So I can see how much I've used in December. You can see I used 547. If I go back another month, you can see I used 160 and so on. Okay, and you can break down this scale by either daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly, okay? So pretty neat. Um, you can also see it against um, historical data. So you can add some historical data on top of it. And I don't think that's very useful, but that's a pretty neat feature, the usage report. I, I used it a lot to do a lot of other videos to actually do some experiments to see what's the most efficient way to run this unit. So and I have some videos on there if you, if you want to see them. I'll put them up here. All right, so the next one we're gonna talk about is vacation schedule, it has vacation schedule. Before I do that, please, if you're liking this video, please hit the subscribe button. Um, please hit the like button, maybe leave me a comment. Um, I, I really appreciate that. Okay, so the next feature we're gonna get into is the, um, is the schedule to go away or vacation. So this would actually be really nice if you have a vacation house or you know whatever, you're traveling. So in here, you can actually set a schedule up 
And you can say, I'm going away from this day to this day, from the, you know, from this day to this day, and I'm going to put in away mode, which will basically just turn the, heat, the water heater off. Okay. And then you have to turn back on when you're going to return. Okay. So this is a great, another great feature uh, that comes with the app. It's, it's actually a free app. So it's not like you have to pay for this. It comes with the unit. You know, you pay 1600 bucks for the unit, but you know, it comes with this, uh, this nice app. Uh, the other feature that you have is on demand. You pretty much can just set the unit to wherever you want the water heater temperature to be at. Okay. Um, ah, this isn't that, that fancy. I don't think, I mean, I think it's really cool. You could do it, but not very useful. Um, but yeah, you could do that as well. I prefer to use the schedule to set my temperatures, just like I have a ther you know, my thermostat at home and I have it going, you know, temperature going up or down. I do the same thing with, with my unit, but, uh, but yeah, it's pretty nice to have the on demand control. So that's pretty much a walkthrough of the entire app. If you have any other features of the app you want to see, please put a comment below and I'll do, I'll do another video on it. Um, if you like this video, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. And, uh, thanks for watching.